hello everyone everyone what's good what's up it's yours truly and today i'm going to be answering some of the questions that you guys sent me in response to my story asking if you guys had anything you wanted to know about me anything you were curious about and i got some questions i got a lot of questions actually i get asked similar questions every now and then so i decided to finally answer them give, give an actual response. response and compile the answers into one video and mind you this is part one so you know you might ask me the same question in like a few months time and my answer will be different let's get started oh my gosh i can't believe i'm doing that okay guys it's to this video let's get to this video i'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet brief and succinct you feel me all right all right all right what's a day in your life like how much of it is spent drawing my schedule is not really set in stone i do have a schedule that i follow however i am pretty flexible with it I'm going to give like a, a basic rundown this is usually monday to friday like half of the week i spend doing this go to work come back home do my art sleep wake up the next morning go to work come back home do my art and so forth and so on you get the gist it varies how many days of the week i do this but this is like the the overall structure of how i operate and um, on weekends i have more free time more time for myself so obviously i will dedicate my weekends to you know catching up with art catching up with people and i do love to go out so i go out yeah so whenever i'm free whenever i'm off work whenever i'm not working i work on my own stuff i will get better at answering questions guys i tend to like branch off to different tangents so yeah I'll, I'll be better artists whom you draw inspiration from don da don da not too many honestly but off top jerome Woodkin. he's he's a twin he has a twin brother who happens to be a top-notch photographer as well so i guess it, it ran in their family so the best are not that lucky phil hale Ruprak, Von Kaufman, Nicolas Uribe, Andrew Hem, Jaw or J A W Cooper. How are you doing, creative one? Well, I'm all right, you know, just chilling, just trying to be healthy and shit. You're free to roast me if I mispronounce your names. Okay, I I am sorry. Oh, just sign off. Ajisama asks, hang out when I'm back in Montreal. Of course, girl, just hit me up. Just let me know. Let me know ahead of time. I'm not based in Montreal, but of course, yeah, like it's like a few hours away. You you deserve you deserve that. Would you like to make a comic graphic novel? Yes, a hundred percent. I'm not saying nothing, you know, I'm I'm keeping things a secret, but you know, your girl is, is, is um, concocting something. Flipknot asks, why do you create double line work or more in your work or portraits? Several reasons. The first one being that is because I am indecisive as a person and that is a trait that I am trying to fix. I am trying to be a better decision maker. So. You know, I kind of seeps into my art. I, I do make decisions. I'm not that wishy-washy. You know, it just transfers to my art and moments that I want to capture. I don't, miss a thing. I don't want to miss a thing, right? And I don't want to go too deep, you know, into childhood and everything, but I do have this fear of missing out FOMO. So I guess that is reflected in my work. I think there are other reasons, like just aesthetically, I like the look of it. I like just the idea of movement i love movement i love watching people dance and move I, I love energy of course i love stillness as well and i think stillness speaks of movement you know there's no movement without stillness there's no sound without quiet so yeah to answer your question it's your fomo my fear of missing out on these key moments and me just trying to be as honest in it's the word it's the word to translate 
what I see in reality so people can see it and feel it and experience it the way I experienced it, right? Trying to be as accurate, not accurate really, but a as truthful to the moment. The pause break. Pause break. Any suggestions on how to improve line work? So these questions require more elaborate answers and I think I will have to dedicate a special video just to answer similar questions, questions that are more related to technique. Short answer, keep on drawing, keep on drawing, keep on observing, keep at it, like stick to it, honestly, stick to it. Also, don't be afraid to play. Learn the rules and then break the rules. And then when you break the rules, don't be afraid to play, but keep in mind the rules always in the back of your head you feel me draw what you see and not what you think you see not an icon living. icon not a symbol how do you stay making art as a young person who's not a full-time artist i'm struggling i feel you i feel you 100 percent. honestly just making decisions with the long-term vision in mind your long-term desires and making minute this decisions that align with what you want. We forget the long term sometimes when we have to decide things right now today. So think long term when you make daily decisions, if that makes sense. And like stick to it. Like it, it is hard work. You gotta dedicate like a lot. A lot. A lot. Make it full time. And by full time, I don't necessarily mean like 40 hours a week actually i do you can be a full-time artist while doing other things it is very taxing you do have to manage your time very efficiently you have to be able to juggle between you know work and your work and that requires a lot of willpower and discipline you christian yes i am a christian Yes. How do you know Uribe? He was my painting teacher for a while in university. This is the Kenya works. I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm just a participant. I studied visual arts. What material do you use for your paintings and drawings? Do you use just a mix of different materials really literally these things in front of me i will make another video on this art and goals a lot a lot a hardcover feel me like a, like a coffee table book top three places to visit would be this is me right now like my answer might change next week or tomorrow be bali <laughs> Hawaii. Yeah, you can see like a theme. Hair right. smell like the tropic. Your body look nice. A. New Zealand, Australia, Sweden, Austria, Luxembourg. I think that's it. How does your sketchbook look right now? I will defer that to another video. Honestly, I haven't really been working on my sketchbook. Technically, I have. So I like using sketchbook paper. I rip them out and I use them. Yeah. So I guess my sketchbook looks deconstructed. That's what it looks like right now. Yeah, I'm not really. At this very moment, I realized that I let broccoli stay in the steamer for too long and that I was going to eat super soggy, overcooked broccoli yet again. I'm not really like keeping a sketchbook right now or rather I'm not really maintaining my drawings in a sketchbook format I like to rip them out I don't know why I just like ripping the pages out it's your biggest inspiration the mundane everything inspires me my family my friends co-workers life experiences life events my boyfriend
love. And dream, 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 dream. Dreams. Just emotions. Emotions. Yeah. I get pretty sentimental and I pour it out on like my art. I vomit it out. So anything really, like everything and anything quote unquote inspires me. You make a living solely from your art or do you have a job so no i don't make a living right now solely from my art i do have a job how much time do you spend drawing on average let's let's just say definitely more than two it can go up to like eight fourteen but it's usually more than two like two let's just say two on average how do you find motivation to draw every day been having some trouble not to me it's become a habit i gotta be disciplined with it i am responsible with what is what has been given to me i am responsible in cultivating it and managing it and stewarding it i find motivation in personal responsibility and accountability and knowing that at the end of the day, it is my life, my future, and my personal agency. I, ultimately, I'm the only one that is accountable at the end of the day, whether I have improved or not. Do you get demotivated by failure or are you persistent when achieving a goal? Of course I get demotivated. After the dip, there's always an upward trajectory, right? Back to what I said earlier, it's up to me to pick myself up and just stick to it stick stick to it and keep at it persistence is, is definitely key also we gotta be flexible be flexible with the goal post where we put it and how to get there like it might not be this course it might go that way and then this way and then that way some of y'all be wildin' like lip gloss break skincare routine you know what I will oblige, I will comply, and I will make, I'll make a skincare video. So your favorite artists? I answered this question earlier. Process? Question mark. Are you interested? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, also, 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 also. Click like, click subscribe, share if you want to, if you feel like I have added value to your life to your time to your day and it helps with the algorithm it helps you to be suggested content that is similar to this so that's a win-win you feel me can you still speak spanish this is bacho this is francisco echeverry sir senor of course por supuesto claro que si hablo espanol are you kidding me yes no but for real i do but it's 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 rusty it's rusty so i definitely need to brush it up you feel me you need to polish it up i need to duolingo it you feel me when are you free to facetime girl just, just. all right so if you've watched this far then kudos to you your champ thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope to see you next time when i see you take care and bye Party time. Party. I want to party. Party, party.